Hey guys, what's up? Beast and Beast Toys here. Coming at you this afternoon, Saturday afternoon. We've got a mail call toy haul opening, so to say. Um, yeah, Walmart. Check it out. Walmart baggy. What do you think is going to happen? Hopefully it's better than I, than I expect. Uh, last one didn't go well. Just got all my money back from the last one. We'll see how this one goes. This one smells like it's been under someone's sweaty armpit. It's weird. This whole this package stinks. Reeks. FedEx delivered. Got a notification yesterday. Showed up today. So, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, trying to be a little cautious opening. Worried about the condition of the figures themselves. We'll see. So if they get slammed around, they may be okay. Uh, initially, maybe all right. Uh, maybe surprised here at the condition. Looks like... I think they're both fine, actually. Surprisingly, they better after the last time. Jerks. My uh, Mando credit collection, or uh, Boba Fett credit collection didn't turn out so well. So here is the skinny on this. They're both in pretty good shape, surprisingly. Odd. Um, which one to open now is the question. This one has a bit of an overhang on the back corner. The overhang doesn't concern me. This one's got a, almost a slight bend upward on the back corner. The bottom corners really can't go wrong with either one, to be honest with you. I think you personally put them in someone's collection. They're going to, for, for sake of argument, say they're both in really good shape. So... Now I'm just trying to figure out what the best line of attack is here. Like I said, uh, this one's got a bit of an overhang in the back, but otherwise that one's it. I think this one might be my left one here. might be the one I'm going to put on my shelf. So I'm going to set that one up there. We're just going to roll with this one here. So this is the Aldani Mission Cassian Andor. This is number one in the line, surprisingly. I thought somebody else was number one, actually. I had assumed I had already had number one, maybe. Don't I don't know. But... Uh, these just came out. Walmart just sent these out. The uh, notification. And then here he is. So here he is, the first one. There's the artwork. You can see on the back. It says, in an era filled with danger, deception, and intrigue, Cassandor embarks on a path that will turn him into the rebel hero who will challenge the evil galactic empire. So, again, we get no special uh, endorsement or... Uh, biography of, of this character so um so now what we got we got an imperial um soldier and or here from the uh what was like fifth fourth fifth sixth episode somewhere around there um you know a lot of people talk the show was good i did it took me a bit to get into it uh i thought it kind of started slow at first but uh there it is. So he is the number one figure in this Andor line. I likely end up getting all of them eventually, maybe, but kind of to the point of I'm not in a hurry anymore. I'm not going to pay high, high prices for stuff now. So I'll be careful. So already trying to bend his first, his right arm, his pit, his shooting hand, so to speak. It's a little stiff. Second one, not bad at all. That one bent quite easily. Hat does not remove, by the way. I'm kind of tinkering with it right now with this head. Hat doesn't remove. When I push up, I feel like I'm getting more resistance, or the head would come off if I didn't not, wasn't careful. So get some armor. Does have a holster, surprisingly a little different. Let's check the back knees. Legs bend good, actually. They're stiff, but they have they can bend very easily. The feet, feet always a concern on these figures for me. They're weird. Um, and I, I say that in a, in a nice way. They're just weird how they fit the body. But here he is, Imperial and or Aldani Mission. We're going to put this in the holsters, see how it fits. See if this holster is up to the par. Because you've got this scope, this pistol scope that hangs off. So we're trying to see if we can get that in there without a hitch right now it's nothing but hitch trying to get it in there it does fit it just takes a hot minute to get it in there so there it fits 
That way you don't have to put it in there if you don't want to. I'm actually going to give him a at ease look here. And then finish up. Armor attached. It's not loose. This, you know, chest piece, some of the figures you get will have that chest piece and it's kind of loose. This is not. Um, got the shoulder armor also on this figure. It is not loose either. Uh, kind of an, impedes his chicken wing ability, as I call it sometimes, ability to get his arms. That's about as high up as you're going to get him um, at, at the joint there. You know, otherwise we can twist him up, obviously, this way. But uh, there's the back, back of this figure. I'll pull his arms down so you can see the complete back. The shoulder uh, and bicep piece there kind of comes down where you can see it better and does kind of cover the back side so if he was to take a blaster from the back or back backish side somewhat back side he'd get it it'd get a little bit of a get some resistance and keep from getting shot in the back of the arm so much because it does wrap around some um actually all the way surprisingly not quite at the tip of the shoulder or this part here but it uh there's a little bit of an opening there but uh it does wrap around here around the bicep so just want to keep those muscles good. Um, again, here's the front look. Scoot up a little bit. There's the face. Show him off again. Just got this bad boy today. Like I said, Walmart just pumping these out. And surprisingly, this one came fine. So both of them were fine. I'm going to put this on my shelf. Um, the other, my unopened one. And I've actually got one, two, three, and four now, I believe. And then I've got, actually surprisingly, I've got the... Pulse exclusive and or I haven't even opened yet, which I've had for months, like two months when I'm sitting on it. So, all right, guys. So there he is, the Aldani Mission and or. Actually, a pretty good looking figure, I must say. Um, I was kind of wondering how he would turn out in the picture you get in the on the Walmart website. He looks so-so, but uh, seeing him in person, yeah, I, I like the looks of this guy. So, all right. Hopefully, you get lucky. If you got him ordered, you get him soon. Any day now would be the what I would say you're gonna get him any day now if you haven't got him already but uh, if you haven't you're looking into him I'm not sure if he's still up for pre-order honestly or, or actually order now I don't I don't know a hundred percent I pre-ordered two um quite some time ago when they came out and now just so happen to get them uh Walmart you know they're they're hit and miss I'm now pretty much the only thing I got left with Walmart oh no I got the Boba Fett Titan runes which says it's shipping February 1st so today is the 7th so about three weeks, I'm hoping to get those maybe. And then I've got some G.I. Joe Retro Snake Eyes and Crimson Guards ordered after that. About done with Walmart. So thank goodness. My, most of my pre-orders are getting close to about caught up completely. So anyway, there he is, guys. Sorry, I'm rambling and I'm spinning him around too much. So we're just going to call it uh, quits. So there he is. Hopefully you uh, like what you see if you want to get him. Like I said, good looking figure, surprised me how he looks, how good it looks. I was wondering if he would turn out okay, and he did. So uh, hopefully you can find one. Hopefully you can find one at a good price again. You know, as I always like to say, was he worth it? I don't really like the twenty six forty nine or whatever price tag Walmart's put on. It's too high. Black Series figures, I'm still kind of a 20 buck and below guy. If I, could, if I can, that's where I look for. I shoot for 20 and below. 15 to 20 is a good point for me, um, truthfully. In, in a real in a in a in a, uh, in a good world great world um 15 bucks max on these figures would be great you no know, and that would be i, I think you, honestly i think hasbro would sell a crap ton more if they sold them at 15 especially troops if you cranked out a lot of troops and you sold them at 15 you're gonna sell a heck of a lot more i promise but uh not gonna get any better because the inflation and all that in the economy so is what it is anyway Sorry for rambling. Once again, hit that like, subscribe button. You want to check out more videos and reviews. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Beast from Beast Toys. We'll see you.